sign there that says UFO. Those I see is train crossings. Welcome everyone. I'm here at the Henderson Swayze Town Forest. I am rocking the Flume Gourd shirt because I had initially intended to go up to the Lost River Gorge today, but unfortunately that was uh, closing too early. I, I didn't make it up there quite in time. So uh, perhaps another time, but I'm gonna check out this trail. I'm greeted by this giant log that, nope, that looks like it's uh, not part of the trail back there. But uh, this is in Exeter, New Hampshire. And I was just greeted by a, a snake I almost stepped on and I slithered away a bit too fast for me to get on film. There's quite a plethora of birds down here. Snacking on some bugs probably. Tried to get the squirrel, he ran off. That looks like a little bit heavily wooded trail right there. I think I'll stick to the main path, which I think is the main path. I didn't see anything really marked. I do like all of these little wooden things here. It was a metal one earlier that I stepped on and made a loud noise and scared off all the woodland creatures. I did just see a woodland creature go into there. He's probably in hiding. And so far, I am seeing a lot of little uh, turnoffs to smaller trails. Since I've never been here before, I think I might just stick to this main uh, road even though it's not like a big trail it's kind of small see where see where it brings me coming up on this area it looks like a it's a little cross between getting a lot of sun and then uh, a lot of shade with all this uh all these trees and bushes and small trees i guess <laughs> And I think I have decided, instead of going straight, I might, this way looks all dark and not grown in. This looks like it has uh, this nice little wooden bridge. I might, might cross it, check it out. Oh, gas pipeline, <laughs> that's just interesting. It's like a whole different land. It's much more woods up here this way. Squirrels, of course. Looks like someone put a TW in there, which is uh, my initials. Maybe I'll, I'll trek over that way. It's calling my name. And lots of bugs in here. I did put on repellent, but uh, I've already walked through a few spider webs. So I'm taking it, not a lot of people probably come through here. There was a few vehicles when I was coming in, so there must be other people out here somewhere. And I feel like I'm going pretty much parallel to that main trail, so maybe I'll head back out on that in a few moments. If it brings me there, that is. Got some more little wooden, little wooden bridges. Make it a little easier to cross this section, I suppose. This one's seen better days. And I did find a little stream action going on here. No 
bridge, but uh, I think I'll be able to, to scale it. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh wow, it's just super buggy out here. <laughs> My repellent isn't working very well, I guess. Not that I think I'm getting bitten, but they're just, you know, they fly all in your face and stuff. Well, this looks kind of cool with all the wood. Arranged going around the trail. Oh, more spider webs. There's no shortage of those in here. Oh, this looks like it could be interesting. Oh, no, not that bad. I just saw that one plank, so thought it might be uh, a little rough, but no. Nope. Walking the plank. Yes, definitely glad I put on the bug spray. The bug spray, even though I still have bugs all around me all the time. Probably due to that somewhat stagnant stream from earlier. It's a little cool thing. More spider webs. <laughs> I think if I uh, find my way back out to that main trail, I might go back that way. Although this is a nice little like curvy walk around kind of a uh, thing. At a loss for words, I suppose. <laughs> but it, you know, it zigzags around quite a bit and it's pretty cool. Reversing over rocks and boards. Now this is a bit odd. Instead of just walking right there, they have this little bridge to walk up here. And I'm thinking the main trail that I was on is somewhere over there on the other side of that grass. Just assuming. But I guess I'll walk down this board. <laughs> yeah, that is that's kind of interesting. Kind of odd. <laughs> Moving on. Back there, oh, this must be replacement pieces for these little uh, bridges here. I did see a slight walkthrough through some grass that I think would have got me back to the main trail, but I, I opted to stay on this trail for a little while. I am, I am enjoying this nice little trail, minus the bugs, of course. But what can you do about that, right? Oh, this looks like um, I'm going to be crossing another little stream area. Yeah, it looks rather stagnant. Probably the cause of these bugs. Oh, and a snake. Oh, I found you. quite a bit bigger and this looks like this trail continues and I'm wondering if this out here is that main trail I was on seems to be you also can cross right over here I think I'll stay on the main one there's another gas pipeline so I'm guessing this just runs Along a big gas pipeline, because that's the second one I saw. I see another one up in the distance. This water seems a little less stagnant. Someone appears to have left a couple of uh, beverages here. But, uh, this is kind of cool. 
you got multiple streams meeting up at this one and we got this one meeting up and heading down that way i think i'll uh cross this uh bridge wow this seems a little a little risque but pretty cool nonetheless He's camera shy. Out into the brightness. The brightness of the sun. But not for long. Going back into the woods. And this is a bit hilly. Nothing horrible, nothing too hard. But there is a lot of ups and downs. Just like everything. Uh, continue this way. I wanna say somewhat close to where I have my bearings. Some more of these big glacial boulders. Up here. Oh, I almost just walked into a spider web for the 18th millionth time today. I mean, oh, I, I see a mark. Some animals running about. Oh, hey, little chipmunk. I am also still trying to get used to this camera. about as far as I can zoom in on you there, Chip. You're doing some rock climbing yourself, huh? Well, and climbing down. Big rock. I like that one. It's actually a few rocks. All moved by glaciers, apparently. So I learned up at the flume. And yes, this is no Flume Gorge kind of trail. Rocking the shirt, remember, from earlier? Um, and I did want to go to the Lost River. I've never been to the Lost River Gorge, but I gotta, I gotta plan it out a little bit better than just kind of waking up and doing a few things and being like, oh, I can make it up there in a couple hours. And next thing you know, the day gets away from you. But perhaps before my uh, vacation is over, perhaps I will head up that way, up to the Lost River Gorge, because that's somewhere I've never been. I've been to the Flume Gorge several times. Several times when I was younger, older, and uh, the last time on YouTube in the rain. Go check it out. And this is quite the conglomeration of rocks and a giant tree sticking out of it. Pretty neat, if I do say so. Carrying on. This rock appears to have quite a bit of vegetation growing on the tops of it. I wonder if that tree. No, it looks like it must. The tree looks like it grew right from in between these two boulders. It's pretty neat. But 
this must be the boulder area on this trail because there is quite a few. This trail seems to be marked. That one does not seem to be marked. Although that way looks like it is going more in the direction of where my vehicle is located. I think I'll still come this way. Or maybe I'll go that way, this way. Because <laughs> this is marked over here, which is going to that same trail. Oh, and we have a map here. So this does continue on, going for quite some time, both the blue and yellow trails. I think I might go to the yellow slash green trail because uh, I think I'm over off the green trail because it shows that gas line on this map here. So I'm assuming, because so it's not really telling me where I am exactly. But uh, it does say gas line, so I think I need to get to the green trail if this is the yellow and green. Hopefully I can take the green back to where I started. But uh, you, know, you could probably walk for several miles throughout this, this place, but yellow to green is the way for me for today, anyhow. Fortunately, this is quite murky and swampy in this area. Luckily there's a little bridge. But unluckily I am consumed by flying insects. I'm invading their territory. But hopefully I keep seeing these markers and get back to my vehicle at some point today. A lot of, a lot of etchings in this, some peace signs. Uh, I think that's the Anarchy A. Oh, just some names carved in. And this looks like the split, where green is there, yellow is here. I do just kind of want to check out what the signage says. Although I am planning on going that way. So trust a lot again. This time I will follow the arrow to the trust a lot. And hopefully that is the place that I am parked. Yet again, this actually I think looks kind of cooler. This trail down here. But the green is on that tree, so. I better, I better stick to, the, the, there's no marking for that direction. This looks like it could be a little tricky. Just kidding, it's not that bad. Watch this trail will go right to where that other trail is, I guarantee it. <laughs> cool. That, that'll work. And it does make me wonder, because this seems like it would be the easier trail to go through. This is kind of like a go around, but it was marked over there, not up here. Maybe it was a trick by the people that paint the trails. Cruel joke. Or maybe it's just, uh, maybe water flows down there more. I don't know the reasoning. Beats me. A lot of stumps, a lot of roots, and a lot of stones in this area. Yeah, this is a little more tricky. Got a lot of stumps. Well, not really stumps, they're more just roots and boulders to step on or try to not step on. wooden bridge here. The boulder right in the middle. Nice peaceful nature walk. It's 
smelling the fresh air in the forest. It's always a good, a good smell. I, I do, I do like the mountain smell. Once again, <laughs> I can only be mad at myself for not making it up there, but this is awesome. So worked out, worked out well. And for the most part, it's been very quiet. I've only seen a handful of people, a few uh, squirrels and chipmunks, uh, also a couple dogs, and a plethora of birds, as always. I did see a hawk earlier, but it's a little too high for me to get with my phone. <laughs> That's making a weird noise. I don't know if it's that tree that has fallen into the other tree. It's not very windy right now, so but yeah, this tree it looks like it fell right into some branches and then onto that tree. But it is making it is making noise. I, I better go before this gigantic tree falls on me. Hopefully it doesn't. All these boards seem to be different sizes. Wonder if you know that one spot is just a little bit longer than at the end. Some more boulders. Oh, I'm coming up on a very long structure of wood. It's got the regular one, and then it goes at a bit of an incline and you even got the side rails pretty fancy that one's broken though so don't trip it's a lot of trippable things you gotta kind of have your uh, eyes towards the ground in a lot of areas so you don't trip over a lot of these uh, a lot of these roots that are protruding out of the ground here. It's a nice breeze coming through the woods here. Now I'm not quite sure. This is a dark green and a light green. Maybe the dark one is from before. And uh, there's a number one here. There's also a green marking on this, so I'm assuming down here would be the right trail, but as I look over here, there seems to be a dark green painted right here. Now, I only saw one green on the uh, map. It's again, very tall tree. So I, I guess I'll go with the lighter, more fresh-coated trail of green over here. A little downhill action. Bark is all peeling off of that tree. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll stop it with the wood for the most part. Every time I see these wooden planks and wooden little bridges, I'm tempted to, uh, you know, film. But I, I, I saw a few in a row here, so I'm like, I'll, I'll get that as I cross over this little uh, ravine here. Or this little stagnant, swampy area full of bugs. Depending on where you are on the trail, the closer you are to those stagnant water sources, the more the bugs, the more plentiful the, the bugs are. Oh, scared that bird away. And I'm not sure if it's picking up a lot of this because there's a lot of these stumps on the ground, so. 
a lot of times I'm not even looking at what I'm filming. I guess that'll be for the editing process of this video. But it's been, uh, it's very stumpy. Or, uh, rootsy. Rootsy? Is that a word? So always, uh, look to the ground so you don't trip over them. Also a lot of boulders. Now I've approached Dean's dream. I don't know what that is. I do believe I saw it written on the map, but I only glanced at the map for a short amount of time. So just kind of winging it. I know I could go back and look on the footage and I pre-recorded, but I'm more of an adventurer. I want to, I want to find it without referencing. If I get too lost, I suppose I will reference it. But it appears that I hear motor vehicles. So maybe coming out a little bit closer to civilization, perhaps. Maybe not, maybe I went in the complete wrong direction. We shall see. I know you have your mouth full of something, Mr. Squirrel, but could you maybe let me know? Wow, you're a little guy, huh? Could you tell me the right way how to get back to my car? By any chance? I think you're too busy munching on that uh, pine cone you got there. All right, I'll, I'll try to find my way without your guidance, squirrel. Little tiny, it's a little tiny squirrel. It's not one of those red tail ones, must just be a, a youngin. Maybe that's the apparent right there, because that is a much larger gray squirrel. Or at least the tail looks much larger. Uh, this little, this little bitty guy. All right. See ya, see ya squirrels. Now I've come to a, uh, looks like it's a barn. I see some houses in the distance. I think I may have traversed too far or maybe in the wrong direction. That is definitely a house, or, or a barn of some kind. I don't know. I may have to backtrack. <laughs> and I've walked quite a long ways. I know in this video, you know, it's edited, so it's not like the entire trip is gonna be on this video. But I've, I've walked quite, quite a ways so far. about three miles, so not that far, but still three miles. If I have to backtrack, oh well. <laughs> and it would appear that I did indeed go too far. I, I pulled out, uh, I pulled up Google Maps and I uh, looked at where the parking lot was and it's definitely back that way, I'm thinking probably should have um, gone that other way. I'm thinking that's where the that's where it was, but it's a good thing I didn't keep going that direction because that goes way, way in the other direction. I mean, it, it loops around eventually. Would have made for a much bigger walk, but uh, it's, it's almost 5 o'clock now, so I've been here since, what, 2.30? <laughs> So, gonna head back that way to my vehicle and hope that I didn't get any ticks on me. <laughs> there is a tick warning up at the beginning of the trail. Uh, so, definitely have to go grab a shower after this. Aside from the 
houses that I saw over there and being able to hear uh, Route 101, I decided better look at the GPS navigation Google Maps system. So Dean's dream, I guess you're not the trail I was looking for. Gotta go back a bit. Just saw a gentleman riding a bicycle through here. I don't know if I would want to take my bike out in this kind of terrain, because as you can see here, it's a lot of, a lot of obstacles like that. That's a big one right there. I don't know if I would uh, want to bring the old bike out here, but to each their own. I mean, these things are huge. Seems like it would be more uh, difficult to ride a bike through here. It definitely does feel majestical being out in the woods. Yeah, see, I guarantee it. Right back up here is where the trail split up. I wanted to go the other way. So, here at the dark green, where I was earlier. And I'm thinking, I'm not absolutely positive, that at the moment it is five, sorry, it is 4.54. Let's see what time it is when I reach my vehicle. It is literally 4.55 right now. So only a minute later, and I've come out to what I believe is the initial trail that I came to. That sun is a glaring. So when I came in, I went that way. I remember seeing this way. I opted to go that way. Now I'm opting to go back to where I came from. And nothing wrong with going a little out of the way. I, I would have liked to have gone throughout that whole entire system of trails, but it's getting a little bit late. I have to uh, drink some water, definitely. Left the water in the car, but uh, definitely be consuming that. Here's that metal thing I stepped on earlier. Makes, makes quite the noise. I wasn't expecting it last time. That time I knew it was gonna happen. This is about how far in I was till I saw a snake. <laughs> Not very far at all. My vehicle over there, near the train tracks and the UFO sign. Oh, and luckily I think I hear the train coming. I think that's where I'll end it for today. Not quite the hike I wanted to go on, but it was a good hike nonetheless. Uh, hopefully, in this stint of uh, vacation I have, maybe I'll make it up to the White Mountains uh, on the back half. But uh, stay tuned for more. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so you get notified when I post a new video. And, uh, Maybe give a like, comment. It's up to you. Thanks for watching. Peace.